Well, a British man who suffers from epileptic fits a few times every week is taking on an extraordinary challenge just to prove that his condition will stop him from nothing. Ashley Wilson will leave Geraldton bound for Mauritius in a few days. And this is the hard bit. He'll be rowing the whole way, nearly six and a half thousand kilometres. There have been 41 recorded attempts by rowers trying to cross the Indian Ocean in the past. So far, only four pairs have made it. The last two to accomplish that were French men. They took a little over 85 days. That was back in 2012 and they actually set a world record. Ashley will be joined by fellow British adventurer James Ketchell, considered one of the world's toughest iron men. He's rowed across the Atlantic, he's climbed Mount Everest and cycled 30,000 k's around the world. And I'm pleased to say the gentlemen join me now. Ashley Wilson, James Ketchell, good morning to you both. Good morning. good morning. I notice you're in sunny Perth at the moment. You're looking quite refreshed and comfortable. You've obviously had a good night's sleep. You must be enjoying uh, the comforts while they last because they're not going to be around for much longer. No, nah, absolutely. Perth has been great to us so far and we're really looking forward to getting out there. It's been two and a half years in the making just to get to this point. So uh, we're ready to go now. Ashley, I just mentioned some of your, your medical history a moment ago. Uh, why are you doing this? What, what, are you, what are you hoping to achieve? Uh, just, is it a personal thing? What is uh, it? Uh, for me, obviously part of it's personal, but um, really it's about proving to young people that have disabilities and, and mainly epilepsy that I'm so used to being told when I was younger that you can't do this, you can't do that that actually that doesn't have to be something quite as extreme as this, but you can, you can go out there and you can conquer your own personal challenges. Uh, on a practical level, guys, uh, and I'll ask this of you, James, uh, Ashley more than likely is going to have uh, some epileptic episodes perhaps two, three times a week in the small confines of a boat. Um, how do you handle that? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Ash will have seizures on the boat. Um, I've undertaken uh, specialist uh, medical training and epilepsy training back in the UK to understand what I need to do. So we have procedures in the place. Uh, and it sounds crazy what we're about to do, bearing in mind Ash's condition, but actually it's really quite safe. <laughs> whatever you reckon. <laughs> well, yeah. just on that, some of the stats are pretty scary. When you're out there in the middle of the ocean, the closest people to you will be on the International Space Station and the nearest land will be five k's below you, underneath five long kilometres of very cold, dark water. Does that not freak you out? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're never that far from land. It, it's just the wrong way. So, uh, yeah, but uh, no, it, it's no problem. Rowing an ocean is all in the mind. Anyone can sit on a seat and pull the oars. That's not difficult. But being out there and staying focused and, and concentrating on the goal that you need to achieve, that's slightly harder. And, you know, <laughs> chances are you'll be on that little boat together for about three months. So you're going to get to know each other fairly well. Are there any little personal habits that you're looking forward to or not looking forward to from each other? Yeah, no, not at the moment. I'm sure they may crop up, but um, <laughs> we'll see what they are as we get there. I hope you've got a few good jokes up your sleeve just to pull out in, in those dark moments. <laughs> hey, how do we follow well, actually, your progress? It's quite interesting because on the boat, uh, you can follow our progress at www.nothings-impossible co.uk there we'll be updating a blog so you'll be able to see how far we've traveled every day all the photos and you'll even be able to reply to us so uh, the idea of this project is to inspire other people to pursue their own goals and dreams and get rid of the stigma around epilepsy so uh, follow our journey and hopefully we'll be able to achieve that all right well best of luck guys uh, sincerely hope you make it hopefully in a world record send us a postcard from Mauritius thank, thank you. you for having us